Hello friends, welcome back to MKM Tech channel. My name is Mullah Khadir. In this video, I will tell you about how to install Windows 10 in a DOS operating system laptop, either in UEFI mode or in legacy mode. Basically, in UEFI mode, the boot time will less compared to the normal mode. So, we will install the Windows 10 operating system in UEFI mode. This is Asus R558UQ laptop which comes with the DOS operating system so we will install Windows 10 operating system in this laptop let's begin there are two ways to install a OS in this laptop either by the DVD or by the pen drive I will use DVD for the installation of Windows 10 in this laptop so let's begin put the DVD in the tray and start the laptop As you people see, I will I am inserting DVD in the tray and I'm closing the DVD tray and let's power on and press the escape key to enter in BIOS settings. We will show up by is slim type dvda uefi slim type dvda or enter setup first go to enter setup you will be see like this i am the down use shall as advanced mode f7 press f7 in this set the boot option And in this boot option one will select as UEFI slim type DVD game so that you can install your OS in UEFI mode and that just seven exit search in this then press UEFI slim type option the DVD will load and you will show up a message. Press any key to start in C video. Then press any key. It will take some time to load. After the loading, it will show a message. Let's wait. In this press next install now the setup is starting if you have a genuine key please enter it otherwise just press next or I don't have product key. It will show you two options pro or home. Put pro and press next. Accept the license and terms. Then press next. In this, press custom install Windows only. In one TB hard disk. Just press new and then it will show you the total space in this hard disk so re-edit it I am creating a partition of hard disk with 180 GB the remaining memory will partition in this required files let's see the partitions are created in four types one is recovery one for system 100 mb and 60 mb for msr result for the first booting and the 181 is primary just select the primary and click next the remaining partition we create after installation of 
Oh yes. Just click next. So the process is done on the, on, until 100%. So I will skip the video. After the completion of the 100%, it will restart it automatically. It will ask as for Wi-Fi connection. If you have Wi-Fi connection, then type your password. Otherwise, just skip this step. Then click on the use express settings after the process it will ask your name type your name after typing your name it will ask for settings of the cortana just skip the setting Windows is started. We install successfully the Windows 10 operating system. If you have a driver CD like this, which comes within the laptop, then press it in the DVD tray and install the drivers. It will show you like this. And select the drivers which you want and then press install. I have selected these drivers and then application. Some of the main applications and then press install. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes to install the online drivers it will reboot if the driver is installed so we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for the complete driver installation see it automatically re reboot the system of the driver choice of driver similarly it will restart and reboot here it is it successfully completed the driver's installation to check the drivers whether installed correctly or not, please check in this PC and then go to properties. In these properties, click on device manager. In this device manager, you are seeing that there are no yellow triangular tick marks. If you found any particular yellow tick marks, it this means that driver is not installed correctly. You have to install it again. But here you didn't find any yellow marks so the drivers are correct, installed correctly and fine and I have successfully activated my windows 10 here the, this windows is genuine after all this we have to partition the hard disk to partition the hard disk in number of parts go to the control panel and then system and security and here click on administrative tools create and format hard disk partitions here you can see that a 749 GB unallocated space which is not shown in this computer here you can see there is only one partition of this hard disk we have to create two or three more hard partitions of this hard disk. First, click on the unlocked space, then click on new simple volume, then next. Here, it will show you the memory of the total 767 GB, but we have to partition into three parts. So, open a calculator. Type the memory shown in below. Then 
then divided by 3. You shown the memory of the one particular disk. So type the following partition of one part. Then click on next. Next. Next and finish. Here we successfully created a new volume of partition of the hard disk. Now similarly we have to create another partition. Just click the memory bytes. Click next and finish. And similarly there are created two partitions and one is unlocked space. To create this unlocked space into usable space, just create a new simple volume. Next, next, next. Here we completed three partitions. As you saw, there are four completed partitions. In one, there are C drive and E, F, G. We also change the volume names according to our order. That's it friends, in this video we have learned that how to install Windows 10 in a DOS admin system and how to check the drivers and how to partition the hard disk. Thank you for watching friends, please like and subscribe my channel and Jai Hind.